Your doctor may suspect that you have a blockage, an obstruction in your coronary arteries. These are the blood vessels that supply the heart. A CT coronary angiogram is a non-invasive CT-based study that will look at your heart arteries. It uses a powerful x-ray to produce a cross-section of your heart and its blood vessels. It is non-invasive, relatively simple and not time-consuming. It produces a real-time image on screen and provides clear and accurate information about what's happening inside your heart and coronary arteries. We use CT coronary angiogram to check for various heart conditions, diagnose the cause of chest pain, and investigate for other symptoms. It's a powerful tool that helps us work out treatment options. We can also use a CT coronary angiogram to help us accurately perform other procedures like angioplasty, CT, stenting, and surgery. A CT coronary angiogram is non-invasive. After numbing the area, we put a little intravenous cannula, usually in the hand or the arm. Through here, we inject a dye, which is a chemical that is radio-opaque and appears on x-ray. The dye is pumped through the heart and down the coronary arteries, making the coronary arteries and the lumen of the coronary arteries visible on the images. You'll then lie down and the bed will position you inside the scanner. You may be also given some other medications, particularly beta blockers that aid in the slowing down of your heart rate to optimise the imaging that we can obtain from your coronary arteries. If you have any allergies or side effects from any medications, please let us know. The actual study itself takes only 5 to 10 minutes. If you have an allergy to the dye, please let us know, or if you have any impaired renal function or you're a diabetic. If you've been given the dye, or you've been given the information sheet detailing the risks and benefits, during the injection, you may notice a brief warm sensation with a taste or smell of medicine, which passes quickly. You'll be monitored for any signs of an allergic reaction. Procedure usually takes one hour. This includes proper preparation and follow-up monitoring. The scan itself is quick and only takes a few minutes 